Episode 10 Have you ever wondered why people say stress is killing me, or worry that stress is bad for their health? The story begins in 1936 with a scientist named Hans Selye and his laboratory rats. Selye was doing experiments where he injected rats with different substances from cow bodies. He noticed something strange. No matter what he injected, the rats got sick in the exact same way. They developed stomach ulcers that bled, swollen glands, weakened immune systems that couldn't fight off illness. At first, Selye was confused. Then he had a breakthrough. The rats weren't getting sick from what he was injecting. They were getting sick because being stuck with needles was an awful experience for them. To prove his idea, Celia tried making rats uncomfortable in different ways, putting them in very hot or cold places, making them exercise until they were exhausted, playing very loud noises, giving them harmful drugs, even partially cutting their spinal cords. Every time, the rats got sick in the same way. Within two days, they would lose their strength, get stomach problems, and their immune systems would stop working. Then they would die. Before his rat experiments, Celia had been a doctor who treated people. He remembered seeing patients who seemed worn out and sick, even when doctors couldn't find exactly what was wrong with them. When he saw his sick rats, he thought about those patients. Celia made a big leap in his thinking. He decided that what happened to his rats might explain why people get sick from life's challenges. This was just his theory. He hadn't actually tested it on humans. But this idea changed how everyone thought about stress. Several things helped make stress seem scary. 1. Selye's definition. He said stress was how the body responds to any demand. This meant everything in life that makes you react could be stress. Not just bad things, but any change or challenge. 2. Spreading the word Celia traveled around the world teaching other doctors and scientists about stress. He became famous and was called the grandfather of stress. He even wrote the first guide about how to handle stress. 3. The Tobacco Connection cigarette companies paid Celia to write papers about how stress hurts health. They wanted him to say that smoking helps prevent stress damage. He even told this to Congress, which we now know isn't true. Even today, most stress research uses lab animals instead of studying humans. But the stress these animals face is nothing like our everyday stress. They get electric shocks with no warning. They're forced to swim until they almost drown. They're kept alone or in overcrowded cages without enough food. Some experiments put small mice in cages with bigger, aggressive mice that attack them. This is more like torture than the kind of stress most people face in daily life. When we hear stress is bad for you, we should remember that the research often comes from these extreme experiments. Recent research shows that human stress is much more complicated. One. Pregnancy and stress scientists found that only very severe stress, like surviving a terrorist attack or being homeless, causes problems during pregnancy. Normal daily stress doesn't harm the baby. Some stress might even help babies develop better brains and become more resilient. 2. Early life stress can make us stronger. Research on young monkeys shows that some early stress can be good. The monkeys became braver, they were better at solving problems, they showed more self-control, their brains developed stronger areas for handling fear and staying motivated. 3. Finding meaning Makes a difference. Unlike lab rats, humans can make sense of stressful situations, choose how to respond to stress, find hope even in hard times, learn and grow from challenges. Selly later tried to fix stress's bad reputation. He started talking about good stress, eustress, and bad stress, distress. He even said, there is always stress, so the only point is to make sure that it is useful to yourself and useful to others. But by then, people were already convinced that stress was dangerous. Understanding this history 
helps us see why stress got such a bad reputation. But it also shows us that not all stress is harmful. Many stressful experiences can make us stronger. Human stress is very different from lab rat stress. We have the power to change how we think about and handle stress. The next time you feel stressed, remember, you're not one of Sally's rats. You have the ability to find meaning in challenges and choose how you respond to them. This human capacity to make sense of stress and learn from it makes a huge difference in how stress affects us. Modern science shows us that the story of stress isn't simple. While some kinds of stress, like abuse or trauma, are clearly harmful, most everyday stress doesn't have to damage our health. In fact, how we think about stress might matter more than the stress itself. By understanding where our fear of stress came from, we can start to develop a more balanced and helpful view of stress in our lives.